Did you know China is already testing its sixth generation fighter? The name given by the media is Shenyang J-50, a fighter that appeared in the skies without any official announcement. Videos recorded by locals revealed the first clue to this mystery. In December 2024, strange images emerged from northern China. Two unidentified aircraft flew silently over a populated region. Analysts quickly named them J-36 and J-50. One was larger with three engines, the other smaller with two. J-50's unusual design immediately drew worldwide attention. Its tailless, diamond-shaped delta wings looked unlike anything before. No vertical surfaces were visible, maximizing its stealth profile. This was the first real leap towards sixth generation combat. But the key question remains, what is J-50's true mission? For China, sixth generation means more than simple air superiority. This aircraft is expected to command swarms of combat drones, a single fighter acting as a leader for an entire team. To understand this, we must look back in time. In 2019, Wang Haifeng, a chief designer, made remarks. He said that by 2035, a sixth generation fighter would arrive. An aircraft with artificial intelligence and human-machine coordination in battle. J-50 is clearly moving along that very path. Its tailless frame means stealth from every possible angle. Adaptive wingtips take on the job of stability control. And two-dimensional vectoring nozzles replace the missing vertical fins. When it comes to engines, speculation runs high. Some suggest derivatives of the WS-15 or new prototypes. Supercruise capability and massive onboard electrical power are expected. Features critical for future systems such as airborne lasers. Inside, all weapons are hidden from view. Two large belly bays carry long-range air-to-air missiles. Smaller side bays likely hold short-range defensive weapons. It mirrors the same concept seen on the J-20. But there is one striking difference, newer missile designs. Reports suggest a successor to the PL-15 is coming. Shorter in length, but with a far more advanced motor, allowing J-50 to carry more missiles internally at once. Its sensors also tell an important story. A faceted undernose housing resembles the F-35's EOTS system. This sensor allows passive detection without emitting radar signals, a priceless ability in the stealth-focused battles of tomorrow. One of the most debated points was its cockpit. Early images led some to think it was unmanned, but later photos confirmed a single-seat canopy exists so the fighter supports both manned and unmanned options. This means China is pursuing an optionally manned approach, an aircraft operable with or without a pilot on board. Depending on mission demands and AI maturity at the time, flexibility that will define sixth generation combat systems. Now let's compare J-50 with the J-20. The J-20 still uses canards and vertical stabilizers. That design slightly compromises its stealth performance. But J-50 removes them entirely, erasing that weakness. Against the J-31, the difference is equally clear. The J-31 is a medium-weight carrier-capable stealth fighter. Yet, it still carries conventional twin tails and surfaces. J-50 simply moves beyond both into stealth perfection. So where does J-50 truly belong? Most likely, the Navy will adopt it as a carrier fighter. Its size and proportions make it suitable for deck operations, while the larger J-36 could be destined for the Air Force. The first confirmed test flight happened in December 2024. With a J-16 Escort, the prototype was spotted in flight. Reports suggest only a single unit has been built. 
marking the beginning of a long testing journey ahead. Does this mean J50 will enter service soon? Not exactly. Analysts estimate the early 2030s or 2035. Key technologies like adaptive cycle engines are still unfinished today, but its early appearance proves China's rapid pace of progress. Remember, a sixth-generation fighter is not just an aircraft. It is defined as a system of systems. The fighter must coordinate in real time with loyal wingman drones. J-50 appears designed exactly for that command role. One curious feature stands out, its adaptive wingtips. Images show they can move independently from each other. At low speeds, they stabilize the aircraft effectively. At high speeds, they reduce drag and improve efficiency. Globally, this flight carried a very important message. The United States still struggles with its NGAD program. Meanwhile, China openly revealed two sixth-generation prototypes together. Observers noted the symbolism could not have been clearer. Europe and Japan are running similar projects too. But China now shows something real flying in the skies. Even if only a prototype, the signal was clear. The sixth generation race has entered a new chapter. For military watchers, J-50 remains a massive puzzle. No one knows the final version's exact configuration yet. Will it retain this form or undergo major redesigns? The answer could take many years to emerge. One fact, however, is already certain. China is fast. From the J-20's debut to J-50, took barely a decade. It demonstrates the enormous capacity of China's aerospace industry, and it serves as a warning for global rivals. For us as viewers, the story is captivating. We are witnessing the birth of an entirely new generation. Each leaked image is a puzzle piece of tomorrow, and each fresh report fuels curiosity even more. So what do we truly know so far? J-50 is a bold experiment aimed at the future. A blend of stealth, AI, and drone command capability. And this is just the beginning of the sixth generation saga.